this is my partner. Mama Saimi. Our topic is chemical reaction. We are planning a party with chemistry. I'm looking forward for the party. Let's see my friends. Okay. So what do we need to do? Okay, we need to after this squash, squeeze, squeeze this lemon in a bowl of water. Oh, right. Mm, one. Take a Q-tip. The message turns brown because when the carbon in the lemon juice message comes into contact with the air, it oxidizes. As a result, the part of the paper with lemon juice on it burns and browns more quickly than the rest of the paper, revealing the invisible message. So now, let's do the decoration. Do you know how to um, blow the balloon? Yes, I know. What we must do is mm -hmm. pour a vinegar in a bottle. Bottle. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. And then fill in a balloon with Quitting. baking powder. Powder. I mean, the balloon. Alright. This balloon in the bottom face and yeah. Yeah. make sure you hold this bottle and yeah. just pull it and so look it blow it. out. Baking soda and vinegar are combined, a gas carbon dioxide is created. As the gas goes up into the balloon, the balloon inflates. This is similar to how we ex exhale carbon dioxide when we blow up balloons using our lungs. So we got the balloons. Now we have to do the poster. So I have one way. Yeah. First, we need a bowl of milk. Yeah, milk. Okay. Enough. Enough. Then, make take a kind of food and the bread. Uh, just take it. And now it's time to magic. Don't too high. Okay. That. Consists of a lot of different types of molecules, including fat, protein, and sugars. The detergent reacts with the protein in the milk, altering the shape of the molecules and setting them in motion. The reaction between the detergent and the fat form mysca, which is how detergent help to lift grease off of dirty dishes. As the mysca form, 
the food coloring move across the map. There you go. Yay, we're almost ready for the party. So excited. For the finale, we need food for the party, right? So we are making ice cream. Here is the ingredients. Now let's start. <laughs> First, we need a cup of milk. This is milk. Yes. A cup. Yeah. All right. Then we need. After that. <clears throat> We need a cup of cream. Cup of cream, sorry. <laughs> a spoon of brown sugar. Brown sugar. A spoon of brown sugar. And a bit of vanilla. Don't too much, okay? Alright. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> then, we close it. And now we make the ice for oh. <laughs> For the half of cup. Half of cup. Of salt. Also, alright. Half full of salt. Yeah. Mom, take it, take it, take it. And put it in this eye. Yeah. This out. Oh, let me do it. Alright. <laughs> Yay! And close it. Close it. Okay. You need to shake it for Basil. And put this in here. Then, then, then. Okay, put it in here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. When salt is added to the ice, the ice begins to melt because the freezing point in the world. The heat that causes the melting comes from the surroundings, the warmer cream mixture and the hands on the plastic bag. By lowering the temperature at which ice is frozen, we are able to create an environment in which the cream mixture freezes at a temperature below zero degrees into ice cream. We are finished! Let's check it out! Let's check it out! Oh. Yeah. Yay! Take a look!